It was a long-running dispute between Buffalo Bills running back LaShawn McCoy and his then live-in girlfriend here at his home in Milton, a dispute that was private until early Monday morning, private until a 911 call for help for police made it very public. It's going to be in reference to a female who was assaulted, hit in the head, locked in the bathroom. We do have PD and Ralph in reference to a home invasion. Just after 3 o'clock Monday morning, LaShawn McCoy's estranged girlfriend, Delisha Corden, beaten inside the home. Milton police say a home invader targeted her. But who attacked her and why? Delisha Corden's Atlanta attorney, Tanya Mitchell Graham, is telling police to investigate whether LaShawn McCoy hired someone to attack Corden. Graham telling us in a letter the assailant demanded specific items of jewelry that had been previously gifted to Miss Corden by Mr. McCoy, which Mr. McCoy had requested back on many occasions. The attorney sent us photos of Corden's injuries, including injuries to her wrist, where the attorney says Corden had been wearing some of the jewelry. An attorney, Graham, says McCoy and Corden were in a long-running dispute that McCoy had been trying to evict Corden from his Milton house, where Corden and her children had lived with him since October 2016. LaShawn McCoy battling back, denying on social media that he had anything to do with the attack. McCoy hired a high-powered, high-profile criminal defense attorney, Don Samuel of Atlanta. Samuel is experienced in defending accused NFL stars, including Baltimore Ravens star Ray Lewis, 18 years ago in Atlanta. Samuel getting a murder charge against Lewis dropped. NBC 10 in Philadelphia talked with McCoy's mother on the phone Tuesday night, who insists her son would never send anyone to hurt Corden. You know, as a woman, I'm so bad for her. That somebody would do that, but I know that you didn't do it. Milton police checking to see if McCoy's security cameras captured any part of the home invasion early Monday morning. Investigators not saying if they've identified any suspects or if McCoy is a suspect. In Milton, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.